Hello, wingmen. This is Tally Mouse. Last month, I was invited by Pimax to attend CES 2024 so that I could take a look at some of their new technology. So I hopped on a plane and left Houston behind for the subtle nuance that isn't Las Vegas, baby. After walking only 14 miles from the entrance, I found Pimax's stand along with Ultraleap and other VR tech giants. The stand was bustling with visitors from the world over who had come to try out the crystal on space simulators, flight sims, and racing sims. The response was overwhelmingly positive, with many guests that I spoke to commenting that they were blown away by the clarity and quality of the image that they were seeing that seemingly contradicted some negative press that they'd seen online. One enthusiastic visitor was so pleased he wanted to purchase one on the spot and pulled out a large envelope stuffed with $100 bills. It is, however, possible that he had misunderstood what kind of crystal was for sale. Looking around the stand, there was a noticeable tent assembled, hidden away in the back corner. It looked like a tabernacle, except inside wasn't the Ark of the Covenant, but the High Priest of Pimax himself, Yap Grolman. He was protecting a large box of new tech with his life, and he had the look of a wild animal who shouldn't be messed with. After some legal proceedings that I can neither confirm or deny, I was permitted into the tabernacle with nothing more than my eyes, my wits, and my word. I was permitted to try out a new technology demonstration platform, basically a collection of new technology feasibility elements that have been placed onto the crystal skeleton for testing. It's clear that Pimax is currently developing a lot of new intellectual property in this space, the results of which will evolve into the 12K reality headset. When I placed the test bench headset onto my head, two things were very noticeable. Firstly, closing each eye in turn, I could assess the quality and resolution of the prototype panel that they were testing. I cannot divulge the precise specifications of the panel, but suffice to say, the 12K name suggests 6K per eye, and this was immediately noticeable. I could see extreme details in SIM at distances way beyond what I can currently see in the crystal. The crystal currently is, in my opinion, the best headset a SIMA can buy right now without having to sell a kidney or a child. And whatever the 12K ends up being, if they continue down this road, it's going to be a legendary weapon, a giant step beyond what we're seeing today. I cannot divulge technical specifications, but anecdotally, I can tell you that while floating above the city in air car, I could see individual car headlight details clearly across the other side of the main island. This is the closest I have ever witnessed VR being to human eye resolution. The colors vibrant and dark levels were also good, so whatever they are doing with these bespoke developed displays, they are going in the right direction. Pimax currently have a number of different lens systems that they are exploring with the intent to maximize FOV while maintaining exceptionally high image quality. The lenses that I personally demoed had the appearance of very large aspheric lenses with a large sweet spot and no noticeable chromatic aberration all the way to the edges. Of course, John Major and the UK National Health Service learned the benefit of very large lenses back in the 1950s. There were also prototype designs for other lens systems, all looking very intelligently thought through, and it's apparent that Pimax's aim is to eliminate the user's ability to perceive an edge to the image entirely. Another notable omission from the technology platform was that of a battery. Clearly, Pimax planned for the 12K to be a PC VR tailored beast. Of course, eye tracking and foveated rendering will mean that it will probably function on similar GPUs that the crystal currently operates with, unless you're trying to drive the 12K without foveated rendering, which would be similar to your GPU driving the pixel demand of three 4K monitors. So foveated rendering and eye tracking is clearly the future of all high-end headsets. Another technology being demonstrated were the YGIG AirLink module for the Crystal, also receiving positive feedback. Finally, the big FOV lenses are in their final iteration. Pimax stresses that they are being careful to perfect the latest design such that everybody who wants them will be very happy with them. And they will also be fitted with infrared LEDs such that eye tracking will function with them too. 
So wingmen, this was my short roundup from my day at CES. Until next time.